All right, we're really happy with the win. Um, thought we played some uh, some good basketball there in that first half. I thought we were locked in defensively. Um, I mean, to a man, everybody did a good job defensively. I mean, they had zero offensive rebounds in the first half. They scored 24 points. I thought everybody contained the dribble, you know, got out to the, all that stuff. Did a really good job in the first half. Uh, you know, second half we didn't, and we got to. I told the team you have to learn from your your wins just as much when you learn as when you learn from your losses. Uh, and a little sloppy with the ball at the end, but uh, you know we let that we let that lead get to us. And, and it, but it, it's a positive problem. Learning to play with a 21 point lead. So I'm glad uh, I'm glad we uh, had to learn how to play with a 21 point lead. Um, thought the contributions were terrific. Uh, you know I thought what the way Wanya handled himself, not being able to get it. He didn't get a lot of shots in that first half, but he kept his composure. Knew he'd get him in the second. It's a sign of maturity to know that, you know, okay, didn't get some shots in the first, I know I'm going to get him a second half. The team's playing well, and, and he, he did it like a pro right there. He did it like a pro. He didn't play defense like a pro in the second half, but uh, he did a great job just keeping his composure there. Uh, I thought uh, it was just great to see Joe Thomas get eight points and eight rebounds in, in 17 minutes. A little bit of foul trouble there. Who knows? He might have had a double, would have had a double-double. It was great to see that because Joe's, uh, Joe's been working hard, and, and it's good to see him get, pay some dividends. And then uh, maybe the star of the night was, was, was TJ to come in there and give us that boost in the first half. Um, and I thought Tajir did a good job in the first half, too. You know, not to lump these guys together all the time, but th these two guys, I mean, they don't act like freshmen. They don't play like freshmen. They did it right from day one when we scrimmaged Temple. And, you know, right from day one, they don't act like freshmen. They're comfortable out there. They, they, they make plays. They, they're, you know, it, it's fun to watch them. And it's... Uh, you know, I think it's it's a credit to them, but I also think it's a credit to the guys that surround them because they know that they got some good players there, and they can they can let Wanye and uh, and Antoine and Marvin and Malcolm, uh, you know, get them to where they need to be, and they can just you know stand around and make shots. So, Wanya, good win. Can you talk a bit about these two guys inside? What they gave you? Uh, yeah, they gave us great energy in the um, in the first half. You know, a lot of rebounds, a lot of intensity on defense, and everything heading on screen. So, I think. If they if they play like that throughout the year, we'd be a good team. How much better can you guys be when you get good play from that position? Uh, very good. Uh, good enough to go to the MAC championship. I, I hope. TJ, can you talk about that first half and how did it feel out there making those plays? Um, I mean, it's great. Our fans are great, so it's just a electric environment. And you know, we had gotten a run started early. The starters really got us on, on a good good note and uh, I just came in and tried to do what uh, the game plan said and fortunately it worked out. Did you kind of draw some confidence from the end of last season when, you know things started to turn around for you we talked about that earlier and uh... yeah that was definitely a great help to have a good game in the end of the season and uh, help us move on and it just gave me confidence from there on. And it, did you the talk of I mean in the past you guys have been kind of perimeter oriented you know, you like to shoot the three a lot. How does how does that change now, Wanye, with you know having those guys in there? And it seems like something from what I saw tonight that, that you're willing to adjust to. You know, like yeah, if you need a shot, you're willing to take it, but at the same time, you're willing to get those guys involved. Yeah, if I, I think if our perimeter guys not hitting anything, we can go inside. If, it, if our inside is not going, our perimeter uh, helps us a lot. So I think it's getting better every day. TJ, from what I understand, you were a guard for a while, and then you hit a growth spurt. Um, where did you get that kind of the ability to mix it up inside? Um, I guess last year, uh, my senior year of high school, I really had to, I had to play for the four position for my high school, and they really worked with me on my post moves and just trying to use your body. I don't really use a lot of post moves that are really good at shielding people with my body and then just finishing around the rim. That's about you being a guard. <laughs> He stopped playing up too many 10 second violations. <laughs> <laughs> uh, plus 11 rebounding and 41%. Can you talk a bit about the defense and the rebounding? I know it was. With well, we did a great job in the first half. Second half, we didn't. I mean, they had zero offensive rebounds at halftime and 12 in the second half. So that was, we were terrible in the second half. I thought our defensive rebounding was terrible in the second half, but very good in the first half. So. You know, we'll be as good as, as we defend and rebound. That's how good we'll be. How good are we going to defend and rebound? I feel like we can score. You know, the best, maybe one of the best scorers on the floor the other night didn't score a basket tonight. And, uh, and we still scored a bunch of points. But, uh, you know, we've got to keep other teams from scoring them.